Hey, what's up guys, I'm your host Nero, and I hope you're all staying inside and staying healthy. And now it's been a while since I've uploaded, but since we're all stuck inside our houses, I have a bit more time than I usually do. So, so this video was initially planned to be the review for the D brand group skin, but my experience with this case hasn't exactly been the most positive. So as a result of that, this is going to be more of like a story time as well as my experience with what happened to my D brand grips case. But I will also look at it from the perspective of a review in case you were looking to buy one for yourself. So with that being said, I'll just show you one quick spoiler as to what my case actually looks like right now. And I just need to go pick it up. So this is what the case looks like after about four months of day-to-day -day use. And no, it wasn't designed like a handbag. So now Dbrand as a company is promoted by a lot of the biggest names within the YouTube tech community like MKBHD, Jonathan Morrison, Austin Evans, all of them have used and love the Dbrand products. So when I needed a case for my iPhone 11 that I got in September, Dbrand was kind of my first choice. So now around the time I was looking to pick up a case for my phone, Dbrand was having their Black Friday sales. So I got a grip case as well as the skin for the Dbrand grip so that it would match the red color of my iPhone 11. So now because of the Black Friday sales, the entire thing ran me about 45 Australian dollars if I remember correctly, but that's a steal considering if it wasn't on sale, the entire thing would have cost me about 70 Australian dollars or 45 US dollars. So definitely not the cheapest cases, but it's also not the most expensive ones. Just for comparison, Apple's silicon cases for the iPhone 11 will cost you about 65 Australian dollars or $40 US. But again, going into the sale, because so many YouTubers and so many creators endorse Dbrand, I honestly didn't think that the case would only be lasting me four months. The case did arrive in a package that I have to say looked really dope that made me quite excited to actually start using the case. But now if you do plan on getting a Dbrand grip case, let me just say, get a Dbrand grip skin as well. Because as soon as I unboxed that case and started holding it, the plastic on the back of the case really ruins the feeling of what it's like. Now arriving in this really cool looking premium package, the plastic back really makes the case feel kind of cheap. Now I really wish I'd taken footage of the case at the time, but if you are gonna get this case, get it with the skin because it also doesn't look visually appealing without one. Installing the actual skin, they have a YouTube video Video which shows you how it should be done. But now I'm just really bad at this kind of stuff to begin with. So my installation wasn't the most perfect, but even with the imperfect installation, I really liked how the case turned out to be just because of how good it felt and how good it looked once the skin had been installed. So again, if you are buying a Dbrand group case, just get it with the skin. Without it, personally, it doesn't look very good. It doesn't feel very good. I wouldn't recommend it. Now the ability to apply a skin onto your case is probably also the best part about buying a Dbrand grip skin because not only can you change your look later down in the line, if you get bored with how it is, you can remove the skin or apply a new one and they're constantly updating the number of skins that they have. So your phone's never gonna look that out of date. Again, if it actually managed to last that long. Now the case itself is quite good. It has a slight curve to the long edge of your phone so that it's still easy to reach to the center of the screen when you're using the phone. So now that is a small detail that you tend to only notice if you're moving from a separate case to this one, but it is one that I definitely did appreciate. Now the case also has this grip pad thing on the side of the case, which looks really dope, but it feels kind of funny. I'm not sure what the material is exactly, but it's kind of glossy. And at the start, it's a bit hard to get used to, but I got used to it within a couple of days. And knowing that it was there for practicality also made it a lot easier to live with than if it was just there for no reason. It's not really something that would stop me from buying this case. So now that we've completed all of that, I now want to talk about the durability of this case. So now this is the entire reason why people buy cases for their phones. It's not always just to make it look pretty, but it's also to protect the phone when it gets dropped. Now I've never dropped the phone myself with or without the case, so I can't really tell you how durable the case is, but other YouTubers have tested this and it seems to be better than average, but again, not the best but far from the worst. And durability, sadly, is what I have to complain about today because just day-to-day -day use got my phone's case looking like this. About three and a half months into using the grip case, I felt something funny in my pocket and taking it out, I'd started to notice that one of the edges was coming off of the case on the back. So I wasn't sure why or how this happened. I hadn't dropped it in water or anything. So I was being extra careful not to try agitate that edge or even 
keep pulling on it so that I don't make it worse. But even without me doing anything, it, it got worse from just day to day use. And a few weeks after that, the entire case just completely broke down when I took it out of my pocket. And that's how it ended up in the situation that you're seeing it now turning into a handbag. So the only thing that I can kind of link that may have caused this is the fact that I have um, slightly sweaty hands. Slightly is an understatement, but I have used other cases in the past before and I have had no issues. I've even used Apple's leather cases and that thing's entirely leather. And now again, it's not that day-to-day -day use is going to break this case down. MKBHD threw the case across his new studio and nothing happened to it. So I don't know why my case broke down. So now I did try contacting dbrand to see what went wrong, what was the issue and whether it could be fixed and so on but I just never got a reply. I really got left on red by dbrand. So I've just taken the case off and I've been using the iPhone without one, but it's kind of sad. I had a lot of respect and a lot of expectations, but it's kind of unfortunate that my very first purchase from them turned out pretty bad. Now I acknowledge that I may be a one in a million issue that's occurred with their dbrand grip case. A lot of people have positive views, not just the creators on YouTube, but also a lot of people on Twitter are tweeting about how they appreciate their skins and their cases because of how good it is. Sadly, I'm not one of them. I wish I was. And the reason why I felt I had to make this video was because dbrand markets themselves as being better than all the other case manufacturers and all the other skin manufacturers out there. And also because they failed to provide any support whatsoever, even though I tried reaching out to them with an issue that's occurred to a product that I bought just four months ago. So personally, I can't recommend a dbrand case. It was good when it was still working the way it was intended to, but because of the way it turned out with me and because of the lack of any support I got when I reached out to them directly. But if you are going to get one, the only recommendation I do have is that you get it with a skin. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this really weird review slash story time slash rant video. But anyway, since we are stuck indoors with pretty much nothing else to do, I'll try to record more videos. So if you don't wanna miss out on any of the upcoming ones, please be sure to subscribe. Oh, and if you do have any case recommendations that I can buy, something not too expensive, but certainly something that's going to last me more than four months, then please leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, until next time, have a great, great quarantined life.